Jason, Jason hired a new assistant. Is this yeah, true? It is true. And and it's my hometown friend. Yeah. Dima. It's kind of weird how we do things around here, huh? Yeah, we just pluck people from my hometown. Like, I, 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 he's here. He's here. He's working for me. Literally, it's Dima, who's been in your videos. Yeah. He's a great guy, and he wanted to come and work here, and I, I'm just baffled by it. I can't believe he's here. I'm baffled by it, too. I can't believe you gave him a job. Here he is. Dima, say hello. Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me on the podcast. He's been doing great, although today he does do these weird things from time to time, which I know you can relate to, because it's like he's running down stuff today. I'm like, okay, good, good. Good. Yeah. And then he goes, and then he goes, oh, and by the way, um, Irma, when she comes to clean, I, um, I offered her water the other day. So, like, that's okay to do, right? <laughs> I fucking hate that about him. I, I, yeah, I was like, what? Yeah. Get her water. If you order coffee for everyone, order coffee for her. Like, Irma's the best. She's like, treat her like gold. And he's like, yeah, okay. Well, I thought so. <laughs> I just didn't want you to be mad that I gave her a water. Bro, he fucking does that to me at my house all the time. Isn't that he, weird? He goes, the other day, the other day, he goes... I'm going to go, can I grab a water from your fridge? <laughs> and right. I go, and I, this was like the first time he asked. So I'm like, that's totally fine. I literally said, take whatever you want, anytime, just take it. Yeah. And then, and then uh, a week later, he's back at my house. He goes, hey, dude, is it cool if I grab a water? <laughs> and like, and like, if you guys have been to my house, it's like, there's millions of waters in that fridge. Yeah. Like, I won't notice if you take 10. Yeah. And I was like, Dima? It's fine. Go ahead. Take the water. Please don't ask again. Yeah. Just, it's and someone free. else fills them up. You yeah. don't even put them in yeah, there. Yeah. So it's totally fine. Grab the waters. And then again, literally the next day he goes, uh, hey, dude, I know you don't like me asking, but can I, <laughs> can I take a water? And I'm like, Dima, uh, for, you, uh, for you to not ask again, I don't care if my fucking fridge is missing. <laughs> next time, just take the entire fridge, take the kitchen out of my fucking house, remove the cabinets, steal my fucking stove. Yeah. Just stop asking me about the waters. It's such please. a funny, it's such a funny quality because when someone's like polite like that it's usually a good thing i don't even know if it's polite yeah it's just like it's like why are you asking me this so many times just literally just take it yeah, i don't it, care if he's running a soup kitchen out of my fucking living room at this point just don't ask just go and he edited the podcast this week and i heard he, how many times did he come in and ask you questions yeah he was editing the podcast <laughs> he's editing the podcast which he did a good job he did a good job yeah, he edited the last podcast. Guys. and he'd come and he'd come to me and he and he'd be like are you sure you want this part in the podcast <laughs> And I'm like, yes, it's fine. And he, and then he'd go, okay, okay. And then, and then he'd go back to editing, and he'd come back again. And he'd go, yo, man, I just re-listened to it. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> because I don't know, I don't know if people should know all this. <laughs> and I was like, it's fine. That's the point of the podcast. <laughs> and he'd keep coming back and forth, like asking me questions. I don't know. It's it. it Dean was fun. What was he, he like in high school? What was he like in high school? You're the same grade, right? Yeah, we're, we're in the same grade. I didn't really talk to him that much. We, we didn't talk that much in high school. Oh, you didn't? No. Well, then why the fuck did I hire him? I don't know. That's, I thought that was strange, too. I didn't, I didn't know him that well. Yeah. No, I, I knew. I thought he was like your bud. No, I, yeah, I, yeah I, got, I, got cl- I got really close to him after high school. Okay. Yeah, me but and Dave at, didn't... You mean after you left for L.A.? Yes, because that's when <laughs> Ilya and him started to hang out more. Uh, and then I would come by and he's like, I'm bringing by Dima. And at first I was very like, I don't know about Dima. Like, I don't know about this guy. And then we would hang out with him and I was like, what is wrong with this kid? And, you know, I like people that uh, don't make any sense. So, <laughs> so I, I started to get more excited when he'd uh, bring Dima around. And that's how I got to know Dima. Dima, do you have any stories from us in high school? Actually, yeah, I do remember I was in gym and oh God. this was when Vine was very popular and you weren't like that popular, but you were still kind of blowing up. You're like a, you were like a semi high school legend. <laughs> yeah. um, and actually for me, I didn't have an, I didn't have any type of smartphone. I was the only kid in our high school without a smartphone until like senior year. Sure. So I didn't know what, like what the big hype was, but you snuck into my gym class and we had a cool teacher, so he didn't care. Like, really? You could bring in drugs, and he'd be like, yeah. "That's cool. Just don't, don't let me see it." He just didn't want us to make a mess. Sure, so he had a lot of chilling. cool teachers. Oh yeah, we the, the. I think the I, like I always say this: the most important part of school is having cool teachers. If you have stuck up teachers, yeah. they're, they're not going to want to fucking learn. No one's going to want to take you seriously. They're just going to hmm. hate you. They're going to hate the process. Hmm. We had all cool teachers, and that's why I loved my high school because every teacher there wow. was like like young, cool, and the older ones were they, they were just with it. Like they understood. Like like you, you don't you treat kids like your friends, right? And and then they'll, they'll treat you with respect huh. because they'll be like, oh, this person's treating me. Anyway, yeah, continue. We had uh, like some game going on and nobody cared about it. So the teacher was just like, okay, whatever. You guys can do whatever you want. Have a free period. So we just ran around. Yeah. And then David walked in with one other guy and he's like, okay, I'm recording this vine. Okay, yeah. So I remember there was this guy named Ben and this guy named Michael. And he wanted to make this vine 
of like a fight going on and there's people around it and then he brings up the phone and is recording this fight but instead of like an actual fight it's rock paper scissors oh yeah so basically it was like fight 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 yeah yeah it's it's like a classic joke you've probably seen it millions of times sure and then you you pan to them and they're actually just playing rock paper scissors Mm -hmm. no one's actually fighting yeah okay yeah but i remembered like three weeks later david came up to me and he's like hey i need four ski masks and i'm like that would be such a weird question if i didn't know what vine was (laughs) and if i didn't know that he was the one doing this sure and then, sure enough, I had ski masks in my house. <laughs> you did? Yeah. Why'd had... you have ski masks? Because it's so cold in Chicago? No, yeah. I, we got them at like Goodwill or something because, mm-hmm. you know, we didn't have hats at the time. Mm-hmm. And I told my mom, I want to go get a hat. And I, <laughs> I went to Goodwill because, well, I was poor and I wanted to get a hat. And I, I got this hat from there. Dima's a next level storyteller, by the way. <laughs> and they were like normal hats. You can actually buy the, the master class of storytelling. <laughs> From Dima. From Dima, yeah. How to tell stories. Yeah, it's really great. So it's Steve Martin, <laughs> Martin Scorsese, and, and, and Dima. They teach a class together. <laughs> they all yeah. talk about how to create. Yeah, Steve Martin handles life. like Broadway, and then um, Martin Scorsese's film, and then Dima's just. Just day to day life. Yeah. <laughs> So Dima, what was the point of the first part of the story? That was when I where you where you were talking about the gym class thing. Yeah, David yeah. said the funniest thing yesterday. We were driving home, and he goes, he goes, Jason, you should try to go on a trip with Dima and Jonah and vlog it and see how it goes. Dream team. <laughs> uh, okay, so dream no. team. Okay, so the ski mask. Sorry, I don't want to cut you so, off from your yeah. story. So I brought that up because that's when that's when you were really starting to take Vine seriously. Yes, and I started taking nothing seriously. <laughs> so we were both, you know, in the same position. <laughs> And that's when I realized that we had no freaking classes together. You and I had no classes together ever. Yeah, we had none. Oh, weird. It was just a coincidence. I mean, whatever. But They kept the dumb kids and the smart kids separate. <laughs> yeah, it was weird why they separated us. Should have both been in the dumb kids section. <laughs> <laughs> but we did. Uh, we started doing vines more, and then uh, so you helped him with his vines. I like two. It wasn't that big of a deal, but okay. you were cast in those vines. You were like, I think in I was them, in one or, you or two. Them? You were, oh, uh, he was just, yeah, he was yeah we were just doing them like casually and uh, and then high school was over and then David moved to LA yeah and what'd you do gave up on everything <laughs> <laughs> did you really did you I feel mean, that way were you no I like... gave up on everything way before that oh you did <laughs> yeah well what about now now you haven't given up you got your, yeah, you got your actually, butt out here you got a job with a really good looking guy yeah I'm, I'm, I actually am excited I mean I guess I am kind of lucky having to be Jason's assistant because that's like the most credible and wise person in this entire group out of everyone <laughs> sure and Thank you, Dima. I think the experience that I'm going to be able to get from this is going to be very good. Jason's really helping me out with everything. Dima, too. where do you see yourself in five years? Yeah, good Probably question. Probably far away from you. <laughs> I out. have a feeling in, in about a couple months we're going to lose Dima and we're not going to see him for like a couple decades. Oh, really? Yeah, he's, he, he seems like that type of guy. 